Hey YouTube, how's it going? Selena here, and this video will be all about my first trimester and all the different things I've experienced. I am currently 16 weeks and 5 days, um, so this video will be about weeks 1 through 14, and afterwards I will start doing update videos every uh, for every 2 weeks, so my next video will be weeks 15 and 16. And I will also still do a plan for um, me and baby, what I have planned for us to do, and a how I found out I was pregnant video. The main purpose of these videos is not to complain about the things that I have going on about my pregnancy. It's mainly just something for me to look back on, especially since I've had a relatively easy pregnancy compared to others and what I've heard. Um, so my pregnancy has not been that bad um so what i was gonna do try to do to record stuff for my pregnancy is do a pregnancy diary but i am absolutely horrible at writing and keeping things updated i have actually started it and the last time i wrote in it was february and it's april so i figured maybe videos would be something easier for me to keep up with no writing, just talking. Um, some of the things that I say in this video and other videos may be TMI, so if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it. Um, so the, and I, if I keep looking down, I have my list right here of things that I want to talk about. So my main symptom that I've had my first trimester is fatigue, and I had fatigue like crazy. Um, it was to the point where I could barely stay awake throughout the day and I couldn't take naps because I was at an elementary school all day and then when I would get home I would sleep wake up eat and then go back to sleep and that was my day on Saturdays I would sleep all day and I would feel like that was my day for catching up sleep for having to wake up so early during the week um, so Saturdays I would sleep all day and if I got up and tried to do anything I would get massive headaches um, so I just laid there all day and um, usually I didn't take anything for my headaches there was one day where I did because it was really really bad like laying down didn't even help it so on that day I took one Tylenol pill and that was it and that helped and I haven't had to take any since and I hope I don't have to take any more um, and then my Sundays I would usually have enough energy to stay awake, but I wouldn't have enough energy to get up and do something. Around, I want to say like, well this started around maybe like three or four weeks pregnant, and then it started to get better around ten weeks. And I would notice that there were days where I just had energy to the point where I couldn't just sit down and do nothing. I had to get up and do something. And then there where Saturday was my day to sleep all day and catch up on sleep. Saturday, like, some Saturdays I would have energy. Some, not all. Um, of course, now that I'm out of my second trimester, it's better. I don't always have energy to get up and do something, but I have enough energy to stay awake throughout the day without having to take naps. Um, my next symptom is constipation. And I believe it was around, like, weeks 10 and 11, I was very, very constipated to the point where I don't think I used the bathroom for pretty much like those two weeks. And I had gained five pounds just from being constipated. Um, and I couldn't really eat much either because of that. Um, and I still have issues with that. And eventually I will be buying medicine to help me help me with that and yeah because occasionally you know that comes back gas is another thing I have issue with and it's from passing gas to burping and that's something I still have now even into my second trimester I still have gas but I'm lucky that it mostly just happens when I'm at home and when I'm out and about I'm usually good um morning sickness I know a lot of people have issues with this 
and I'm thankful that I really haven't had any problems with morning sickness and I feel so sorry for the people who do and have it every day and have it severely and I honestly don't know how you guys do it but to those who do I feel sorry for you that's all I can really say but um I've had morning sickness like once and I believe it was from eating cheese sticks and either the cheese well no they weren't bad because my ex didn't get sick from eating we were together at the time and he didn't get sick from eating them so I guess those just don't agree with me anymore and it was so bad to the point where I was throwing up and I had diarrhea and I just I felt really bad and this went on for maybe four hours or something like that and I was up all night feeling horrible and I really don't know how people who deal with that every single day do it because that one day was hard enough for me but after that I was pretty much cautious to what I ate and stuff like that for like the next week or so because I didn't want it to happen again and I didn't know if other foods would trigger it so far the only thing that I've had issues with is cheese sticks so those I will be avoiding for the rest of the pregnancy um growing breasts my breasts have grown quite a bit um and at this time I don't have the money to buy new bras so I have issues with if I leave my bras on for too long they end up hurting and if I don't have to wear one, I don't wear one. So I actually don't have one on now. I only put one on when I'm going to go somewhere. And other than that, I don't wear them. I don't have tender breasts. Um, my nipples do hurt occasionally, but never like the whole breast. Um, another issue that I have is bad taste in my mouth. Well, I guess that this could go like two ways. Like... In my first trimester, when I would eat food, it would taste so good. Like, I don't even know. Like, food just tasted so much better than what it did before. But one issue that I had then and still have now is that certain foods leave a bad taste in my mouth. And like now, I just got done eating a cookie and I had this horrible taste in my mouth. And there's nothing that I can do to get it out. Um... And I hate it. And it, like, I guess the bad part is, is that it makes me not want to drink water afterwards because it makes the water taste nasty. And I need to be drinking more water than what I am. Um, another thing that I've had is food aversions. And I've had cravings. My, I feel like my cravings are weird because they don't last that long. They maybe last like 30 minutes or so. And then after that, they're gone. But some of the things that I've craved are these things which are these beef and cheese I always get the Jack Link's one because they're cheaper than the Slim Jim ones um, but I crave those I usually eat like two of those a week only because I don't want to spend too too much money on them um, gummy worms or like gummy candy and like sour candy um, mm potatoes mashed potatoes from KFC I crave those during the first trimester um, and things like that and I noticed that I would eat things that I wouldn't normally eat or I guess because they tasted better that goes with the tasting better thing because like I don't boiled peanuts taste okay to me but they don't taste good enough for me to sit there and eat a whole bunch of them and one day I pretty much ate like three-fourths of a can of boiled peanuts because they tasted better and I knew it was because I was pregnant but anyways food aversions because that's what I was going to talk about next um so during first trimester I had a lot of food aversion to where I would look at something and I didn't want to eat it or think about it and it just didn't sound appetizing there would be times where I would want something and then I would get it and I didn't want it anymore. And I knew it wouldn't make me sick or anything. I just didn't want to eat it. And it was just really, really hard trying to find something that I wanted to eat. And if I didn't want to eat it, then I just didn't. 
one thing I did notice though is that like if I saw other people eating something then that made me want it um but yeah that's what food aversions um so I want to say around five or six weeks my appetite increased um, to where I had to start eating a snack in between breakfast and lunch which is not a bad thing though because when I went to the doctor she told me that I should be eating every three hours so um, eating having to eat a snack because I was hungry really helped with the having to eat every three hours because it's pretty much I was getting hungry every three hours so yeah and then um, around week 14 week 13 somewhere around there my appetite increased again so now um, the little snacks that I would eat because I would eat like the cutie oranges because they're small and they're easy to peel and I can peel and eat them fast because I only had so much time to eat snacks um, those weren't enough anymore and so I have to start instead of eating one I have to eat two or I have to eat something else with it um, so that's one thing that I've been experiencing my appetite has gotten bigger um, my weight I haven't really gained much weight I think I've gained like five ish pounds my first trimester and within the this past month so week 13 through week 16 and I know it's going into the second trimester but from week 13 to week 16 I really haven't gained any weight I think I've gained maybe a pound but I don't know if it's due to constipation or if it's due to me actually gaining weight so I guess that's something that we'll see later on um so at nine weeks and one day I had my first like official official prenatal appointment my appointment before that was just a confirmation and then I got a referral to an OB and so now I have my doctor and at nine weeks I had my first appointment which was an ultrasound where they did an ultrasound of baby of course a duh and I have it here if I could I would insert a picture of it but I can't edit so I have it right here for you guys to see this is my baby at nine weeks and one day and for those who don't know that little thing right there at the end is the yolk sac and there is the baby's head and you can kind of like see little nubs and whatnot for arms and this is my baby my baby's nickname is baby bean because when I found out about him he was around the size of a bean and when I say he I just don't want to say it I don't know if it's a girl or a boy yet and that I won't be finding out until nine weeks which is the first full week of May May 6th which will be the week that I'm finding out whether or not it's a girl or a boy um so after the ultrasound appointment four weeks later I had another appointment which is the pap smear where they check and make sure everything in there is all good and also at that appointment they told me that I had a fibroid on the uterus um, at that point in time I really didn't know what it was she told me really not to worry about it um, she said because of where it was if it affects the pregnancy it will only affect the baby's ability to turn and the baby may stay in the breech position um, and of course you know I didn't know what it was so at that time I wasn't really really worried about it and then when I went home and researched it, that kind of changed. And so now I'm more worried about how it may affect this pregnancy, how it may affect future pregnancies, how it may affect my ability to get pregnant. And then what happens if I get more fibroids? And since I'm pregnant, it means that I'm then it's going to grow because estrogen levels are higher and estrogen levels make it grow. So, um, 
yeah i guess i'll keep you guys updated on that if you have any advice or any information about fibroids and pregnancy please let me know um i'm trying so hard not to worry too so much about that but right now there aren't any issues so yeah and for now this is going to be the end of the video because my phone is dying and i have like 20 percent left um and so i will see you guys next video um and for now you know comment rate subscribe if you have anything you want to say you can tell me about your first trimester how your pregnancy is going um or how it went if you've been pregnant before things like that and so yeah until next video bye and i have to click this